Uh, hello, uh, my name is Mr. Cadill. I uh, teach instrumental music at Columbia Falls Junior High. Uh, Ms. Brandstetter and I are excited to see you guys next year. Uh, this is the first year we're doing this with fifth graders uh, at the end of the year. And we want to tell you guys about the sixth grade uh, music options. Um, you will have uh, four different options going into next year. So that's your elective when you get to uh, sixth grade. You get a choice in your music elective. Um, those four options are uh, band, choir, guitar, and percussion class. Instruments in sixth grade band, the woodwind and brass family. From the woodwind family, we have the flute. The clarinet, you might know this from Spongebob, the instrument Squidward plays. The alto saxophone, typically we don't need very many of these to have good instrumentation. We usually want more flutes and clarinets. From the brass family, we have the trumpet, the highest sounding instrument of the brass family. The French horn, the trombone, um, one of the lower sounding instruments. You'll notice instead of valves or buttons or keys, it has a slide. The baritone slash euphonium, the correct name for this instrument is euphonium, but most people refer to it as baritone. and the lowest, largest member of the brass family, the tuba. So I'll be playing on that looping pedal, um, Sweet Dreams, uh, by Eurythmics on tuba and trombone. <laughs> I'm Mrs. Brandstetter. I'm the 6th, 7th, and 8th grade choir teacher and 7th grade guitar teacher at the junior high. You are making the decision of what you want to participate in next year for 6th grade music. So let me tell you a little bit about what choir would look like. We have three to four concerts per year. And what you would need to wear is just the nicest thing that you have for a concert. Um, we spend our time together two days or three days a week, depending on the A-B schedule. And during that time, we're working on vocal warm-ups, which increases your range and your pitch of your voice. Um, we spend a large part of our time working on songs. We play games. We're working on learning composers in music, different genres of music, and of course, elements of music, which helps us with the technical pieces of songs. Um, most of all, our, our job is to really just develop a love of music 
and appreciation of all sorts of music that is out there. So if you choose choir, I would love to have you and um, I look forward to spending my time with you. Bye. Welcome to room 20. You are now entering Mrs. Brandstetter's music room. So as you can see when you come in, right now our room is very empty. The chairs have been absent of students now for a month and a half, and I know that they are anxious to be filled again with the bodies of sixth graders and the voices filling this room. So as you can see, there are a lot of chairs in the choir. That's because we have room for tons of kids to join choir. And so if you become a choir member, this is a little bit of what our room looks like this year. You can expect to see some changes next year, but overall, this is where you will spend your time with me. Hey, so in guitar class, we're going to uh, mainly be playing acoustic guitars. Uh, you can see the body is uh, usually made out of wood. Um, there's an open area, like you can actually put your hand in here that uh, amplifies the sound. Um, the reason why, again, is electric guitars just gets too loud and then uh, no one can hear themselves play at all. Um, so acoustic is kind of the way to go on this. Um, we will play a lot of stuff where we'll play on one string, right? Or we're... Um, we'll also do stuff where we're playing chords, where we're playing multiple notes at once. singing and stuff like that to that. So this will be um, a fun, engaging class. Remember, there are a limited number of slots for it. So if this is your option, make sure that you get signed up quick and you should see it on your schedule um, as you're entering the junior high. Okay, so um, percussion class is um, playing on um, the main like concert percussion instrument. So it's not like drum set where you've got that giant kit with everything around you like you would have in a rock band. Um, it's, uh, we're playing on bells. It's another name also known by as glockenspiel or um, similar to a xylophone. You hit the keys and they play different notes. Um, we're also playing on um, a snare drum which is what you might see like in a drum line. Um, we'll be playing concert ones, but that's what might be where you see them from. Bass drum, which is the big drum. Um, there are um, auxiliary percussion, such as maracas, tambourine, triangle, and cymbals. Percussion instruments used in sixth grade percussion class. Shown is a beginning kit. You will note that it has a bell set, also known as a glockenspiel. It has a carrying case. It actually has wheels and a handle similar to a suitcase you might have in the airport. It has sticks and mallets. And this one appears to also have a music stand. Each beginner will need a kit like this. We will spend about half of our day on the glockenspiel slash bell kit, uh, where we're learning the note names and how to play that. Thank you. We hope that this video may have answered some of your questions. Have a good night.